Hi, I'm Marcos. I'm a patty scoop instructor. Today I'm going to teach you how to do dive tables. Patty dive tables made simple. When we go under the water, we're under pressure. As long as we're under pressure, nothing happens. But when we come up, if we come up too fast or stay down too long, tiny bubbles will form in our joints, in our limbs and our nerves. That's called the bends because you bend over because you're hurting. So we don't want to get the bends. In order not to get the bends, we have to learn the dive tables. Patty dive tables are four parts. First part is how deep you're going. Second part is how long you're staying down. Third part is your surface interval. This is how long you've stayed out of the water between two dives. Fourth part is the most important. That is your pressure group. You need to know your pressure group because you have to keep up with how much nitrogen is in you left over from your last dive. That's called residual nitrogen. When we go under the water, we start soaking up nitrogen. So if we made a dive to 35 feet and we stayed under the water for 85 minutes, we would have soaked up P amount of nitrogen or a pressure group of P. Our new pressure group is P. We have nitrogen in us. If we stay out of the water, if we stay out of the water, we're in pressure group P, we stay out of the water for say an hour, we are now in pressure group E. It's a range of time, an hour to an hour and seven minutes. We are now in pressure group E. E means we have residual nitrogen in us. The residual nitrogen can be found anywhere here. If we made a dive to 60 feet deep as a pressure group E, we would have residual nitrogen of 17. If we made a dive to 90 feet, our residual nitrogen would be 11. If we made a dive to 35 feet, our residual nitrogen would be 32. You have to keep up with your residual nitrogen because that is the leftover nitrogen in you from your last dive that must be added into your next dive. For example, if we're going to do two dives. First dive is 60 feet deep. We're going to go 60 feet for how long? 39 minutes. That would give us, 60 feet for 39 minutes would give us a pressure group of P. We stay out of the water for one hour. Now we are in pressure group E. If you're in pressure group P and you stay out of the water for one hour, the range of time one hour to an hour and seven minutes, now you're in pressure group E. You have to keep up with your residual nitrogen. I can look up my residual nitrogen depending on how deep I'm going. Let's say I'm going to go 40 feet deep. My residual nitrogen would be E at 40 feet deep when my residual is 27 minutes. So I will write down 27 minutes. My actual dive we don't know yet. My total dive will be residual plus actual is equal to total. Let's say I stand in the water for 30 minutes. Now I have a total of residual nitrogen of 57 minutes. I can look up my new pressure group. My new pressure group would be a dive to 40 feet for, for a total of 57 minutes. We can do that over here. I'm at 40 feet deep for a total of 57 minutes. I'm going to round it up to 60, always round up. So now my new pressure group is N. I come out of the water. 40 foot dive for 57 minutes, I come out of the water as a pressure group N. An hour later, what am I now? Well, if I'm in pressure group N, an hour later, I would be pressure group D, delta. I was an N, an hour later, I am now delta. I'm going to make a dive to, let's say, 50 feet. I want to stay under the water for 30 minutes. So I, can add, I have to add up my residual nitrogen. My residual plus my actual is equal to my total. We can look up my residual. If I'm in pressure group D, I'm going to make a dive to 50 feet. We can look up pressure group D is going to make a dive to 50 feet. That means he has a residual of 19 minutes. So I've got to add that in. My residual is 19. So if I made a dive as a pressure group D to 50 feet, I would have a residual of 19. My actual dive time is only 30 minutes for a total of 49 minutes. I can look up my new pressure group. 50 foot dive for 49 minutes gives me a pressure group of what? A 50 foot dive for 49 minutes, the round up to 50, gives me a pressure group of P again. So I come out of the water as a P. 
If I stay out of the water for two hours, I get a whole new pressure group. I am in pressure group P. I stay out of the water for two hours. The range of time is an hour and 39 to two hours and 27. So two hours falls in there. I am now in pressure group B. As pressure group B, I want to make another dive. Stayed out of the water for two hours. Now I'm in pressure group B. Let's say I'm going to make a dive to 49 feet. And I want to stay under the water for 50 minutes. So my residual, we don't know yet. My actual is 50 minutes. Add those two up, is equal to my total time. Well, let's go look up our residual. We're in pressure group B. We're going to make a dive to 49 feet. We have to find out our residual. A diver in pressure group B wants to make a dive to 49 feet. There is no 49, so we're going to round it up to 50. So B at 50 feet has a residual of 13. B at 49 feet has a residual of 13. His actual dive was 50, so his total dive time will be, just add them up, 63. So if I made a dive to 49 feet for a total of 63 minutes, my new pressure group would be 50 feet for 63 minutes. My new pressure group is Tango, T. So I come out of the water as a pressure group T.